I was 38 weeks pregnant and I felt that the baby was moving less. I thought there's just not enough room in the womb for him to move around. So I decided to go to Rambam. I went to the delivery room. I was for sure that they would send me home and say, you're just being a hysterical pregnant mother and everything's fine. So they hooked me up to a fetal monitor and the nurse could see that the baby's uh, heart rate was low. She wasn't so stressed. She said, let's wait a couple minutes and see if the heart rate goes back up. There was all of a sudden 10 people in the room, nurses or doctors or both, and they said the baby needs to come out immediately. From the minute that the doctor had decided that the fetus was in distress and he needs to come out, it took nine minutes. I mean, I was in the elevator, they put an oxygen mask on my face and put me to sleep and I woke up in the, in the recovery room. He was born not breathing. They had to revive him with infant CPR. He had lost 80% of his blood. He had, instead of the blood going from the mother through the umbilical cord to the baby, it went in reverse. Basically, they weren't sure if he, were, if he could survive the first night. When you get a one from zero to 10, I mean, that, that has a lot of, that means something. Professor Blazer, the head of the ICU and NIC unit, he told us on the first day that he wants to do a very rare treatment of uh, hypothermia, where they put a uh, cooling vest on the baby for three days, for 72 hours. On the third day, we decided to name him Oz. It was one of the names. We had a list of names that we had wanted to give to the boy, but we decided Oz is a Hebrew word, which means strength. And he was in the third day when we picked his name, he was still fighting for his life. So we gave, we put, we chose the name Oz. Now I can also say that it wasn't just because of the name; it was because of the Rambam staff of of doctors and nurses and every single person that ever walked through that room for those 25 days that he spent in the ICU. It gave him more strength, I think, than any medicine could have given him. They were amazing and I'm forever grateful to the staff of, to, of Professor Blazer and his team in, in the NICU. He's almost two years old and I know that he is beautiful and smart and charming and silly and he's loving and he's loved. And I know that he can walk and he can talk and he can laugh and he can cry. And I also know that I have Rambam to thank for, for that because when you put your child's life in the hands of Rambam doctors, you can only expect greatness.